Good morning and welcome to Manchester. I am outside the Cheatham Library here in the old part of Manchester and I've arranged to go and have a look around the library and it's one of the oldest libraries in the UK, books going back hundreds of years. So I thought you guys might like to come with me and have a look around and yeah, I mean this will be a serious collection of books so let's go and have a look. This is Cheatham Library, the oldest public library in the English-speaking world. Founded in 1653, it's been a place of learning and inspiration for centuries. Cheatham's library has served as a treasure trove of knowledge for over 350 years. Its historic rooms and collection offers a glimpse into the past. The library's extraordinary collection spans over 100,000 works, including read volumes from the 16th and 17th century. It covers a wide range of subjects from theology and science to law, medicine and local history, each piece offering a window into the intellectual pursuits of past generations. Originally established in 1653, Cheatham's Library became a cornerstone for learning, offering access to books for clergy, scholars and the wider public. Cheatham was also a space for radical thinkers. It's famously known as the meeting a place for Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels in 1854, where they developed ideas that influenced their revolutionary works. It also served local tradespeople, providing knowledge that was often out of reach for the working class. The library holds an extraordinary collection of books, including rare volumes from the 16th to 17th century, meticulously preserved for th over 350 years. Cheatham also houses rare books, manuscripts, maps and pamphlets covering everything from local history to the global discoveries of its time.
The Reading Room is the heart of Cheatham's Library, with its large round table and grand windows and a timeless atmosphere perfect for quiet study and reflection. These chain books were some of the earliest written in English, designed to be accessible to the everyday people of Manchester. At a time when books were rare and expensive, they were secured with chains to prevent theft. The collection reflects Cheetan's mission to provide knowledge to the public, offering works on practical subjects and moral guidance for a wide audience. Cheatham's Library still draws researchers and visitors from around the world, inspired by its rare books and rich history. One can't help but wonder, did Patrick and Bramwell Bronte dream of visiting one day? Or perhaps read about its remarkable collection in their pursuit of knowledge? We will never know. Oh my goodness, that library was amazing. And the ladies that did the tour knew so much and they were so nice as well. I say that about everywhere, but actually in the UK, whenever you go to any of these places, people are so very nice. So thank you for coming with me on a very booky Bronte adventure. Um, it's great to have you along and I had an amazing time. Oh, the smell in there. I can't tell you how wonderful it smelled. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do that whole likey, subscribey thing because it really helps me out and it lets YouTube know that we want to watch more Bronte content. I'll see you next Friday for more Bronte adventures. Take care. Bye.